Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my dear students. This is the fourth online lecture in this course, Feasibility Study. Uh, this lecture is directed toward uh, fourth year students, uh, Business Administration Department, uh, Faculty of Commerce, Kafr Sheikh University. I hope you are well and I hope you enjoy listening to this lecture. Uh, this lecture is the last part in the chapter, in chapter two, which is speaking about marketing feasibility study. Uh, this chapter, uh, we already discussed this chapter through uh, two parts, previous two parts, and today this will be the third part and the last part in this chapter. What we want to discuss today, we want to speak about a preliminary marketing study uh, Analysis of market opportunities. Uh, maybe one of uh, you will say a preliminary marketing study. We already discussed this topic or this title. Uh, we discussed preliminary marketing study uh, from uh, or regarding environmental scanning. However, today we want to analyze uh, available market opportunities. Uh, what here is yes, sorry, sorry here. So we want to discuss uh, the available marketing opportunities. Uh, we want to analyze the available marketing opportunities. Uh, firstly, we will discuss what the meaning of marketing opportunity. Uh, what are the requirements of the market? Uh, uh, how you can uh, or how you will find your competitors? Uh, behave in the market so you will we will speak about competitors action actions and then we will speak about market size uh, when we will discuss uh, these four points so we will uh, can we can say that we already discussed preliminary marketing study from two direction either from environmental scanning that we already discussed in the first and second lecture uh, uh, that discussed chapter two, uh, and uh, uh, and also we can say that uh, we discussed the preliminary marketing study uh, from uh, point of view or from uh, uh, the direction of analyzing marketing opportunities. And then we will speak about preliminary uh, marketing study uh, reporting on the competition and the potential market. Uh, let's begin this lecture. What is the meaning of market opportunity? It can be defined as a marketing area through which a company would gain a competitive advantage over other companies in the same industry. It is mainly concerned with generating revenue from markets. In other words, I can say that the meaning of market opportunity is that you can find the area marketing area or you can find chance that uh, that is not used uh, that no, that is not covered by other competitors by other companies in the same industry uh, they ignored it they didn't know about uh, this chance so you can use this chance uh, and make it your advantage uh, you will cover it uh, and you will uh, produce uh, products uh, that will cover this gap or that will respond to the customer's requirements in, through, uh, in these points or in these gaps that make them unsatisfied. Uh, when you can use this chance and make it your advantage uh, and it is not uh, used and, or it is ignored by other competitors, so you can say that yes, this is your market opportunity. And so uh, uh, when you do this, uh, you can uh, or not you can, of course, this will generate revenue for uh, you. Uh, what are the key determinants? Uh, key determinants, knowing what to look for in the markets, is guided by three key determinants of market opportunity. Market requirements, the actions taken by other firms, and the market size. Here, uh, I want to say what are the key determinants 
of market opportunity what are the items or the issues or the things that is that if you saw them you can say yes this is considered a marketing opportunity for me uh, number one, marketing requirements, and we will uh, discuss it now. Uh, actions taken by other firms and market size. Let's begin by market requirements. In reality, consumers and industrial buyers have certain requirements that must be met before they will spend money for a product. Of course, uh, for you uh, as, a, as a customer, you know or you identify or decide of course, you are decided what are the, the issues or the things that you want and or you hope or desire to see in the product. Uh, and if you saw them, so you will be satisfied, then so you will take the decision of, yes, I will buy this product. I will spend money for buying this product. What are these requirements? These requirements may be particular product benefits. Uh, for example, if we speak about clothes, uh, about machines, uh, uh, for example, about washing machine uh, or dishwashers, uh, of course, you have uh, you uh, in your mind before you go to buy washing machine or uh, uh, television or clothes or any any product. Of course, you have specific qualifications should be involved you decide that there are some specific qualifications should be involved in your mind uh, some of these qualifications may be related to the function of the machine or to the qualifications or uh, the material the material that uh, this piece of cloth is made of uh, the shape the style of the shape of clothes the size of the washing machine so you have specific in your mind you decided before buying washing machine or buying a piece of clothes you have a specific conditions or specific criteria that you uh, prefer to find it and if you didn't find it in the washing machine or in the piece of clothes you will not buy uh, why you put some conditions or some qualifications or some criteria because you think that if these qualifications or if these criteria existed in the product, so you see that it will be very beneficial for you, will be very useful, you will be very satisfied. So you search about the criteria that will attain the most benefit for you. Number two, so, so this is the first requirement, particular product benefit. Number two, convenience in obtaining and or serving a product. Of course, uh, you search about uh, when you buy, you decide to buy, for example, washing machine. Of course, you search about how it will be easily, how it will be easy to uh, reach to distribution points. Uh, for example, you, uh, it is not acceptable that you uh, live in Cairo, for example, and find that distribution point. Uh, uh, regarding the desired washing machine is existed in Alexandria in Al so you will travel from Cairo to Alex in order to buy washing machine of course no you will so you will change you will move to another alternative to another brand name to another washing machine uh, that is that will offer you convenience in obtaining this product and also uh, convenience in reaching to maintenance uh, points value of money spent of course when the product attain the qualifications that you planned it uh, planned them or you decided that it, these qualifications are very important for you if the, if the product attain these qualifications or attain this criteria so of course you will feel that yes the money that I spent in this product, yes, has a value, has a great value. So, uh, yes, I'm satisfied about buying, buying this product and I will buy it. Information and know how concerning products use, benefits, convenience, and or service. Information here, one of the requirements also, 
uh, one of the uh, customers requirements in the in the product that you plan to offer to them or the service that you plan to deliver to them they want to know information a lot of information what is this product what it uses how they can benefit from it uh, how uh, this product will facilitate their life uh, convenience in using this product in reaching to distribution points in reaching to maintenance points uh, convenience in uh, in speaking or uh, with the customer service so they want to know a lot of a lot of info of information about the product that you will offer to them uh, these four requirements considered uh, or uh, can help you to distinguish your product from other competitors product Therefore, I wrote here, market requirements help explain why market opportunity is different from uh, other different firms or other competitors. Each company's opportunity to generate revenue from a market depends on, in part on how well its marketing offer meets potential customers' requirements. In other words, in order to say yes this is considered as a market opportunity for me you should ask yourself to which degree you will respond or you can satisfy these four requirements when you be able to satisfy these four points uh, with high uh, in high score or in high degree so this means that you can be more or very distinguished very you can be very distinguished from other competitors however if you cannot satisfy all of them just one or two so this means that the product that you will offer to customers is not um, differed so much about other competitors the products so this means that uh, uh, customers the desire toward your product will be low and you will find uh, very very sorry you will face fierce competition uh, the second point that uh, or the second determinant that uh, can help you to identify uh, market opportunity is competitors actions a company's market opportunity is affected by the actions taken by other competitors in the same industry uh, compete of course uh, why? Because competitors limit market opportunity for a company because they seek to capture demand too. Of course, uh, the pe people who or or current current investors in the industry will search about any any market opportunity in order to cover it, in order to respond to customers requirements in uh, uh, in these points or in the uh, or regarding the points that make them dissatisfied why they they try to respond or they try to cover or to capture this market opportunity because they didn't like that a new investor enters the industry and and become one of their competitors and uh, uh, um, compete them in the same industry uh, instead of being five competitors in the industry and uh, we can and all of uh, all of us as a five competitors capture the market so we can find uh, six another six competitor or seven competitor why why I, 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 I let chance to a new entrance uh, or new investors to enter this career or this industry and uh, cover this market opportunity the available market opportunity competitors try to cover all available market opportunity in order to reduce number of competitors in, in this industry or in that market uh, to the extent that they are successful demand is diverted from any one firm what is the meaning of this statement to the extent that they are successful demand is diverted from one 
from any one firm. This means that if there is available market opportunity, if there is a chance that uh, can uh, provide advantage uh, to uh, from covering it to any uh, investor, so those who are in the current industry, those investors who are working in the current industry, who are considered or each other as competitors, they try to satisfy or to cover or to take the advantage or to capture this uh, chance rather than uh, let it or uh, let it uh, forget it or ignore it and let other uh, investor, new entrants uh, to benefit from this chance or, or covering uh, it. Uh, the impact of competitors on the market opportunity for a new existing business fair is summarized in the following equation. If you want to know, as uh, here, uh, as a new uh, investor uh, that you decide to enter this industry, uh, you are new entrants. Uh, so, if you want to know what is your share in the market will be, so you ask about demand opportunity your demand opportunity. So here, this equation will tell you. DC means demand opportunity for company C, which uh, uh, we can say that company C is representing the new comp the new investor who decided to enter this industry. Uh, will be equal demand opportunity uh, in the market as measured by total sales for all companies serving a mar uh, serving market. So here we will look to the demand opportunity uh, in the whole market divided as, uh, as measured as measured by total sales. So here you will put the number of total sales uh, attained in this market. Uh, multiply by MSC, which is the percentage of market share for a company C. So if your percentage uh, percentage or your share in the market will be for example, 10%, so you will multiply total sales attained in this market, multiply by 10%. This is your share. So you can know what is the size of the opportunity available for you. Uh, number uh, 4, which is, or the fourth is the determinant uh, that can help you to identify market opportunity is market size. Uh, market size is a frequently used measure of market opportunity. It reflects the amount of revenue or sales following from a market. Here you should be aware or you should be aware yes about the, the size of the market that you or the size of the uh, the size of the target market that you decided or size of the industry the size of the demand in that in this industry that you decided to enter revenue flows uh, measure the volume of product units that a market can or will demand in other words if we want to simplify what the meaning of market size market size refers to the amount of units or from product X or product Y that customers buy. So if you find that uh, there is high desire, high demand on product X, so this means that yes, this means that market, this market size is, is big, is high, is, is, is very, market size here is, uh, is considerable. Uh, and this will encourage you as uh, in visitor either to expand uh, your current project or to or of you uh, new entrants uh, so this will encourage you yes I, I, I feel that this market uh, uh, can pro, can attain profit if I, if I enter this industry this will attain profit it will be profit for me this industry is profitable uh, revenue flows measure the volume of products units that a market can or will demand. Here, there is uh, an equation. This equation wants to say that demand in the market 
as measured in number of units if you want to know how many units sold from this product in the whole market so you will multiply number of customers who will buy by the average number of units they buy uh, at the first glance this seems to mean simply how many potential customers there are in particular market because if there are uh, high number of customers there is high desire about this product so this means that there is high number of customers requiring or liking uh, or preferring this product so this uh, this will encourage you to enter this industry or to enter this market here dm equal in dm as i said here demand in the whole market uh, as measured by units will be equal number of customers who buy and here multiply by average units every one of them uh, buy uh, here we want also to discuss and this is the last point in this chapter marketing for the field study we want to discuss preliminary marketing study from uh, direction of reporting on competition in the potential market in this slide, I want to tell you that one of the important issues that you should consider uh, as a new investor uh, preparing or, or doing marketing uh, feasibility study, you should be careful, you should be aware, you should look to your competitors, you should know who are those competitors. So here, this is one of the important areas you should uh, take care about it, which is related to competition. In this respect, accurate information should be gathered with regard to the following variable. You should know, uh, or you should be aware about types of competition, growth rate of current competition, uh, number of existing and potential competitors, competitor strategies and policies, market share of the main competitors, for example, if I give you an example, if we look to uh, three main uh, companies who are working in the telecommunication industry, I find them uh, for the phone, uh, it's a lot, and uh, uh, orange, and sorry, and we. So these are, or they are the four main competitors in the telecommunication industry. Previously, there, they were they were three competitors uh, for the phone, uh, Mobile that uh, changed its name to be Orange, and it's a lot. Uh, recently, uh, a new competitor entered uh, this uh, industry, which is We. So, We should be aware about the gross rate of current competition. Uh, and also should be aware about who are the main competitors in this market and as I said main competitors were three main competitors for the phone mobile at the salon. Uh, what are their strategies and policies of course uh, maybe you you will ask and how I can know about competitors strategies and policies uh, easily if you if you look to the, to the advertising uh, to ads that every company uh, presents to, to public if you look to the offers that uh, they uh, announce about uh, them of course you can read your uh, competitors minds and this is an important point you should read your competitors minds in order to know how they think what is the next step that they will take so you you know what is the best action to do uh, you should do in order to deal with their strategies with the policies that they adopt market shares on the main of the main competitors also you should be aware uh, about the market share of every competitor who is the who is the main competitor is it for the phone Salat or orange, because why you should be should be aware about the main competitor and uh, uh, the share of everyone. 
because when you know the share of everyone and their strategies, their policies, and you decided to enter this market, so you should differentiate yourself from them. You should provide different offers to customers that will attract them and will drive them to leave or to stop dealing with uh, the competitor, with your competitors. So you should be aware uh, about the competitors' strategies and policies and about the big market share in this market uh, and if you should decide what is your market share that what is the targeted market share when you decide now to enter this market which is telecommunication market you should decide yes I wanted to take at least 20% 30% of this market and I should take this share through for example first year and then the second year this share should increase instead of 20% should be 30% so you should also develop your strategies your policies uh, provide more offers distinctive offers to customers in order to attract them and uh, build loyal relationship uh, engage the relationship with your customers so they um, remember your product not remember they decide to deal with your company and uh, to buy uh, we uh, semi card uh, and as you know uh, now nowadays uh, the mobiles uh, nowadays involve uh, uh, or, uh, or allow for you to involve more than one semi card so instead of putting for example for the phone and it's a lot in your mobile if you succeed in attracting customers maybe they can put for the phone a uh, semi card of for the phone and semi card of we uh, so you should know who are the main competitors and the, the share of everyone and how to attract customers from your competitors this is the end of this lecture I hope you uh, find it useful uh, enjoyed listening to it if you have any question uh, I'm happy to listen from you in the next time thank you for your listening uh, have a nice day thank you bye bye